Hey guys, Mike, your host of Crushing Your Fear. How are you today? Welcome to the podcast where we talk about fear. Fear is always, um, you know, present daily. I was at an event, I was speaking, uh, I was on stage at an event and I asked the audience, hey, who here has experienced fear? And everybody naturally put their hands up and I said, well, who here has experienced fear daily? And then everybody put their hands up again. So fear is present and it's present daily. And, um, you know, fear could be something negative or fear can be used as a tool to, to, to do something positive, right? Um, but fear, and naturally fear, uh, it causes people to act a certain way and, and there could be, you know, uh, you know, governments or people that try to influence uh, other people or try to change uh, the, uh, you know, opinion of a population to do or not do something. And fear is used as a tool by them uh, to influence people. And sometimes it's uh, a positive and sometimes it's a negative thing. I mean, uh, you know, Roosevelt said, uh, you know, the only thing we have to fear is fear, fear itself when they were in the middle of World War II to kind of boost, uh, boost the morale of the country. And, uh, you know, there's other, uh, you know, instances where fear is used to just scare people. And, um, you know, we've had that recently, unfortunately, but, um, we have to look, look through that and, and, and just note, note that fear is a tool and it could be used as an individual. Um, and you can rechannel energy to, to overcome something, you know, like you can take that negative energy that 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 fear might have on you and and turn it into something positive, like pushing through it, right? Um, and as I mentioned, governments could um, you know use it. They use it as a tool. Um, you know, terrorists, right? Uh, thank God we haven't had anything recently, but um, it does exist and it can pop up um, at any time. Uh, but they use it to just scare uh, a population. You know, a couple of people use heinous acts to just scare a whole bunch of people um you know act if you if you don't act a certain way you're going to get more of this right um but you can use it as a tool yourself and fear of loss right if you're fear fear that you're going to lose something like if you own a business um and then you know i say and i've had businesses and i've had walls thrown up at me you know like they're i'm going that way but a wall pops up I'm like, all right, I have this wall. What do I do? Do I stop and turn around? And and usually I say no. And I either go around the wall, uh, we can go under the wall, go over the wall, or we can just blast right through it and and use that fear of loss uh, to take that energy and blast right through it. Um, you know, we had a, I had a, I had a brewery actually, and I had a, uh, for an example, I had a plumber who came in and he did a lot of work and, you know, gave me a quote and, um, you know, uh, I had the, uh, the funding, uh, to do a certain amount of the work and then we were going to finance the rest. And apparently when I went to the finance company, they said, Oh, we don't do commercial property. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I thought we were, you know, I was going to get a loan from them. That didn't happen. And I'm like, Oh my God, I, I just spent like hundreds of thousands in this, on this build out and I can't finish it. Like the plumber didn't want to finish unless I came up with this extra cash. And uh, I just didn't agree with, you know, the work that he did or, or the quotes. And um, I got another plumber in and um, went to the town. I said, look, you know, I, I, I'm like stuck here. I got to open up and I got to get this thing done. I could deal with this plumber on the side. But, um, you know, I got to get this thing. I got to get my certificate of occupancy and, and open this thing. I have a lot of money here. And, and the town was good with me. And, you know, we, we fired the other plumber and we got a permit for the new plumber and finished it up and uh, here we go. We, we had the thing open and I had my business open. But that's taking fear, fear of pushing through it and take, rechanneling it, right? Fair, figuring it out. Um, so you experience fear and, and, and like I said, rechannel it to get the result you want. Um, but take that fear and, and do good with it, right? Um, not to manipulate people. Take that energy that you see from fear and, you know, rechannel it to do something good. And that's how you can use fear as a tool. And there's many other ways you can use fear as well as a tool and crush that fear before it crushes you. All right.
So that's what I got for you today. If you like our podcast, please share it with somebody. Subscribe. I got my book coming out, Crushing Your Fear. Stay tuned, crushingyourfear.com. Check me out, Instagram, at the real Michael Power on Instagram. And send me a message if you need to, Michael, at crushingyourfear.com. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Crush that fear. Take care.